Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asia Wane. For those of you who do not know, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you are a new subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, please. You know you want to. All right, guys, so let's get this video started. So you slept with your makeup on, huh? Hmm? Hmm. Girl, you know you're not supposed to, but that's okay. That's okay. I mean, we all do it every once in a while. I don't suggest doing it all the time, but it happens. Like, I literally just fell asleep last night. Didn't even know I was asleep and woke up and completely forgot that I had makeup on. So I had to prep my face this morning and get it all nice and clean. And I was like, you know what? I'm sure I'm not the only person in the world who ever falls asleep with their makeup on, forgets to take it off. And then it's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to break out. I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. So my mistake has brought you guys a new video. All right, this is going to be a very quick video. I'm just going to tell you guys what I do, what helps me, and you guys can modify it as much as you need to. So let's get started. All right, guys, so if you fall asleep with your makeup on, you're not going to automatically wake up, break out. I mean, some people do, but most people probably don't. And Or if you're someone like me, you won't break out. It's going to be over time that you're going to break out, but... You don't want to fall asleep with your makeup on, keep your makeup on overnight. That's not good because you're going to be sleeping and it's just going to be pressing into your skin. It's my rep. It, like, it's, it's not good. Don't Just don't do it, y'all. Don't do it. But if you do, first thing you want to do when you wake up is either... I like to take a shower just because with the steam, it's going to open up your pores. You can get the water nice and hot. It's just easier to put hotter water on your face then using the sink and sinks are kind of kind of be messy you know so I like to just take a shower but either way whatever you want to do works for you but this is what I do so I wake up I take a shower I rinse my face with hot water I let the steam just open up these pores and then I use coconut oil to get any leftover makeup off usually the only thing I would have left on my face still is maybe like a few patches here or there foundation depending on if I have like if I'm wearing a matte foundation if I'm wearing one of those foundations that just rubs off it's all over my pillow so I just throw I just throw that in the washing machine and keep on moving so I might have little patches of foundation here or there my brows are usually still on mascara definitely still on and maybe some liner maybe a lip color if I had like a really bold matte type of lip color on but usually if I have that on, I don't forget to take my makeup off. It's usually when I'm doing like a, a natural look because it's so soft and so lightweight. I just kind of forget, you know, it happens. So yeah, I will do my coconut oil, rinse my face off. I usually do that twice just to make sure I'm getting all the makeup off. And then I'm going to go in with this Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel from Neutrogena. This gets right into my pores and this will clean out. And this also is a makeup remover. <laughs> this gets any last bit of makeup off that I didn't get, especially like right underneath my eyes where I don't like to put the coconut oil like there because when it gets in my eyes, it really does burn my eyes. This stuff is really good if you haven't tried it. It really does melt the makeup off. And I can't remember the exact price of this, but I got it from Walgreens, so it can't be too expensive. But then again, there are some really expensive things at Walgreens, so... I will include a link on where to get this for you guys down below. Once, then once I wash my face, done with my shower, I'll get out, I'll dry my face off. And then I like to go in with a mask just because, yeah, you cleaned your skin, but I feel like that doesn't get a nice deep clean for me. So I like to go in with two masks. The first mask that I go in with is a deep cleansing charcoal mask. This is clear proof and this is in... Uh, this is a deep cleansing charcoal mask and this says it's suitable for all skin tones and all skin types and this is from Mary Kay so I think you can get this from any Mary Kay distributor I think that's what they're called um, I actually got this from my friend she's a rep for Mary Kay so I use this on the outer sides of my face and then on the middle of my face um, I use the marine mud mask and this is from new skin and so the reason why I use this also on the middle of my face is because the charcoal mask really dries out my skin and I already have really dry skin so I don't want it to be 
even more dry. Like, it really irritates me. I, I absolutely hate the feeling, but it, it gets to clean, you know? So that's why I use that. But the reason why I don't use this all over my face is because right now this is a sample size and I'm waiting for my full size product to come in. But this mask is amazing, you guys. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it. This is from New Skin. If you're interested in getting this, please comment down below. I will help you guys out with getting it. I'll also include free shipping for you guys if you want to get this and try it out. It's amazing, especially for dry skin people like me because this mask does not dry your skin out but it gets it so clean and keeps it so soft it's really like the best mask I've ever tried in my life so that's why I use it for the center of my nose because the center of my nose is extreme like my whole face is dry but the center my like center of my face my nose right underneath my eyes is like extremely extremely dry because I got sunburned when I was in Florida a couple of years ago and ever since then it's just been it's been horrible. After applying the mask, I allow it to sit for 10 to 15 minutes until it's completely dry, whatever works for you, and then I'll just go ahead and rinse it off. And then, like I said, because this deep cleansing charcoal mask dries my skin out, I want to hydrate my skin as well, just because I hate having that feeling, and I don't want to just use lotion, so I go in with this Soothe and Cool Peppermint Oil, and this is... 03. I'm not really sure <laughs> what brand this is. I got this from a Fafit Fun Box, but I will include the link of this bad boy down below for you guys. I'll try to find it, see where you can purchase it. So yeah, you guys, that is what I do. If I say I'm putting on makeup right after, then I wouldn't use that oil because, I mean, like you can see my skin, it's still, like if I rub it, it's still a little oily. So I won't go in with the oil if I'm about to use makeup right after I'll just go on with a primer or um, like a moisturizing cream or something but because I'm just I'm gonna probably do my brows and go on about my day then I'm just gonna use an oil because I want my skin feeling hydrated throughout the entire day but yeah you guys that is all that I do um let me know what you guys do tell me down below or link your video down below I will be more than happy to go watch it and I love you guys. Thank you for always supporting me. And don't sleep with your makeup on, guys. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. All right, guys. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.